The uh, executive editor said to Politico, the fact that Beto O'Rourke and Cory Booker didn't like it didn't influence me. I don't need the entire political field to tell me we wrote a bad headline. It was evident. Uh, it wasn't evident because it was true. But again, the New York Times doesn't function as a news organization anymore. They function as the marketing wing of the Democrat Party. Uh, so does the Washington Post and frankly most of the mainstream media and that's what it is It's not about reporting what actually happens. It's not about being objective in that It's about driving forward a political agenda in their case obviously a very leftist political agenda uh, and, and it's sick because there is no amount of effort No amount of statement that my father could give that would ever satisfy them It has to go that much further and you know, I, I've seen what these things do I see you know what's going on with the Joaquin Castro craziness yeah, let's and go putting out a list. I mean, that list sort of screams like the Dayton, Ohio shooters list, right? When, when a radical left-wing politician who's polling at about 0% does this for either attention or a call to action, it's pretty scary. I well, mean, that was, that was the same list. thing this, that the Dayton, Ohio shooter this did. Is a list. And people he should be out. fed up of this nonsense. This is a list of 44 uh, people from San Antonio who contributed uh, the original to the Castro... Uh, the original quote was this. This is from Joaquin Castro. He tweeted this. He said, sad to see so many San Antonians as 2019 maximum donors to Donald Trump, the owner of blah, 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 the owner of blah, 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 the realtor, etc. Their contributions are, f are fueling a campaign of hate that labels Hispanic immigrants as invaders. So he's not necessarily saying go and do something dangerous to these people. It's completely it, you different know, than that. Perhaps not to reasonable list. people, but when the fringe crazies on both sides and we saw that in the last week right you had fringe crazies on all sides they see that man you're now you're going after ordinary citizens people who just are taking yep. part in a political process honestly imagine i did that imagine i put a list of you know joaquin castro's donors now our people don't list, our people don't weaponize good point yeah. our people don't weaponize the political system you know the same way we don't do the organized boycotts that the left does and these kind of things but publishing these people's their place of work trying to maybe maybe their bosses see it maybe their bosses have a different you know they're literally trying to punish these individuals. They see that also because they're scared of what we've been able to do. They see that we're raising a lot of money because people are excited about what's going on. They see the economy, they see the numbers, they actually see progress for the American worker for the first time in decades. Well, and the, that scares the hell out well, of the Democrats. The one thing that's been noticed is that for the first time a president's been blamed, that his words have been blamed for the shootings that took place. Yeah. They, they don't blame Elizabeth Warren for the Dayton, Ohio shooter. They don't blame Bernie Sanders for the congressional, and they shouldn't. Right, they shouldn't. But if it's Trump, obviously it's him. The, the Wait, double, are you standard there's a double standard is insane, guys. I mean, I've been pretty vocal about this for quite some time. Um, but when you take that double standard, when you take sort of the filter that the mainstream media uses to get messaging out, then you add in the influence of social media and big tech to try to change a message, to try to do damage to one side and not the other. And it's a scary say, place so, that we live. Wait, when you say big tech, are you talking about Google? Because you're I'm talking about all. Talking of, about I'm talking about today. all of them. Uh, you know, I, and I've been you know saying this. You know, I've been hit. You know, by Instagram and these guys for. You know, just asking questions. I mean, okay. I, I've seen, you know, they've weaponized that against me. If they can do it to me, right. if they can do it to the president of the United States, what can't they do to regular citizens? It's, right. it's a scary place that we're in. Your dad's a hunter. Excuse me. Your dad's a golfer. You're more of a hunter. Yeah. You're a, a pro-gun guy. You do it for a sport. I do. You're concerned, uh, even with... Lynn